Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here, and welcome back, guys, for what is going to be nothing short of another jam-packed daily cryptocurrency market update. And if you are new around here every single day around 1 p.m. UK time, we drop an update just like this one to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest things happening in the crypto space, but also the broader markets. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Yesterday, we looked at some news out of Denmark that were proposing an unrealized capital gains tax on Bitcoin. Um, we've previously looked at Italy's stance in regards to that 42% increase on Bitcoin gains, Bitcoin profits. Denmark's um, uh, unrealized capital gains proposal was also 42%. And I think this all follows the ECB and what they said about early Bitcoin investors taking out of the economy being unfair that they were early to something. Well, they don't apply that to people that were early in Tesla and all these other companies that they've enabled. Um, however, you naughty, smart people that decided to um, invest your worthless fear, their worthless system that they continue to manipulate and proliferate in order to entrap you and enslave you. You naughty, naughty people. And Europe is very much enacting what I believe is a theft by the government of um, your uh, insight, your money that you are ultimately going to use likely to help you and your family out. Um, where I'm going with this is we looked at that yesterday and the kind of grievous nature of it. Also yesterday, our beloved Prime Minister, Mr. Keir Starmer, um, came out and gave a BBC, uh, sorry, a Sky News interview. We're going to be looking at that to start of the video off because I do fear that the budget that we've got coming on the 30th, and why is why, all in, why the hell are you talking about perhaps more political things um, on a crypto-based channel because this is directly going to impact you as a cryptocurrency investor. My business partner is Italian. Um, you know, I have to be very careful in regards to putting milk in my coffee or what I eat around him. Um, you know, I love the Italian people. Um, but the, 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 it, it's not great at all uh, what's going on. And I think the UK is about to embark on a similar journey. I think personally, America is going to be a hard... Uh, or, or a harder sort of case to crack in regards to levying these kind of taxes that we're seeing in Europe and, and likely going to see in the UK on the people there. America was was, was founded, um, and shout out to my American audience, um, on very sound principles in regards to the Constitution, that they're working ever so increasingly hard to essentially take those rights away from you um, in the name of things like equality, which is what we're going to get into to, to, to start the video off. And, 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 you know, I think human beings, let's not put our own sort of slant on everything. So we will be looking at, at Bitcoin and we will be looking at crypto more broadly um, towards the latter half of the video. Interesting tweet from Willy Woo that I want to start talking to you guys about. I, I also, so so in the Patreon, we've got a miner that we think is going to do very well. I kind of think that there's going to be some form of nationalization in the United States in regards to mining companies. We're very bullish on miners. There's a lot going on um, that we can't cover in one video. But what, what we want to do in this one is really cover what is a pressing matter. Certainly if you live within the UK, but this, I think, is broader precedent for um, the world more broadly and in line with what Europe's doing. Uh, we had Keir Starmer come out yesterday. Sir Keir Starmer, by the way, um, because he's a knight in defense of us Brits. Um, he's essentially came out and, and given a little bit of clarity or, 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 or further comment on the situation that's going on um, in regards to the bill that he's bringing out on the 30th. He dances around the tax rises question and then he also gives a definition on working class that i want to spend a little bit of time talking to you guys about so what i'm going to do guys is go ahead and mute my mic and then we shall get into this video because this is pressing let's dive into it the budget will be um set out by the chancellor um the on principle the 30th. of it but the what i was talking about when i was speaking at downing street um, and what i've said ever since is this uh, we've inherited a very bad situation here the economy is broken and um, we've discovered there's a £22 billion black hole. Mm. My approach, the Chancellor's approach, is to acknowledge that problem, mm. run towards it and fix it. Yes, a tax So that we can fix up. the foundations. A tax and is on going that, up we will then, you said we will the then rebuild the country. Our tax is going up. Th that will be set out in the manifesto. The principle of it. It'll be set out in the manifesto. Well, you set it out in the manifesto. A tax is I'm, going I'm sorry, to it'll be, be set out in the budget in, uh, but uh, on Wednesday. Is that the painful choice that taxes will be going up? You know, I'm not asking you to set out what they are, but just the principle of it. Well, the principle we put in place is that there's a £22 billion black hole and we've got to So taxes are going up. Well, we're also clear that we're not 
returning to austerity. You I know, people will be watching I, this, and then when you put taxes up and you won't say in principle, yeah, look, they're going to have to go up and yeah, you'll get no, more no, detail. No, I appreciate that, but, but cool. I appreciate that, but you know and I know that no government before a budget I'm not sets you out to, I'm not uh, what's you, going to be in the budget. I, I'm, not asking you to, I'm asking you about the principle. You said to me in Grimsby, all our plans are fully funded, fully costed, fully funded. We do not raise taxes on working people. No rises yeah. for income tax and national insurance for VAT. That's still the case. Yeah, but absolutely. are other taxes going up? I said that to you in Grimsby. I think I said it to you everywhere we met in the entire campaign. But are other taxes and going I'll up? And I absolutely repeat that. For working people, we made an absolute commitment that their income tax wouldn't go up, their national insurance wouldn't go up, their VAT wouldn't come up, go up. I said that in the campaign. We're going but to keep to those promises. But should we taxes more broadly to We're go going up? to have to make difficult decisions in this um, budget. Um, I'm not going to preempt the budget. Yes. You know that. Okay. Um, look, but we, what we are going to do, it's really important that we fix the foundations. We've got to clear up this mess once okay. and for all. And then on that, we build a better Britain. And that we will set out, which is measured okay. in people feeling better off. The NHS, not just back on its feet, but actually okay. uh, fit for the future. And public working... services working in the way that people okay. are entitled to see from their public services. The interesting thing, I think, more so to this is his definition of working people. He's essentially saying that if you don't have... And he's about to say it, and we're about to listen to it. So taxes are going to go up, likely capital gains, likely... Uh, and I employ people, you know. Um, they're making the choice for me to leave the UK very simple. You go where you're best served. I've got so many friends in Dubai. A lot of those friends are in the crypto space and you know them. Um, and they've all buggered off there because why not, right? They don't have to pay any taxes over there. And the quality of life that they... I mean, they, they, I had one friend come back and literally say, you know, the worst thing about living in Dubai is coming back home because it makes you realize just what an SHIT hole it is. Taxes are going up, ladies and gentlemen. I think Britain is going to follow Europe in regards to what they're currently doing. Let's listen to his definition of working class. And th this is the nonsensical nation of this. I am all for bringing people up and bringing those people that he's about to mention up with everybody. But you don't do that by bringing everybody else down to their level and making their idea of equality is everybody equally poor. This is insanity, what we're about to see here in the UK. And when do we say enough is enough or do we not? Do we just go, okay, we'll take the easy route and we'll leave. I have the ability to do that. A lot of people don't. And they're trapped. They're held hostage within their own country. Sickening what is going on. Uh, and why are we covering this on the channel? Because it's relevant to us as investors, to us people who have got the foresight and insight to try and change our lives and our families' lives and everybody around us' lives. And that's what this is all about for me. And the UK government, this idiot is doing everything that he can to prevent that from taking place in the name of saving a gazelle in the jungle. There's repercussions to that. Anyway, let's continue on with this. Sorry for the rant, guys, but it's, I'm passionate about this because I love people. It, it, you know, and it, 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 this is horrific. Prime Minister, are you a working person? Well, I, I would define a working person as somebody who goes out and earns their living, usually paid in a sort of monthly check. But I think that's obviously very broad. So let me be clear. What I mean, or if you like, who I have in my mind's eye when I make decisions as Prime Minister, are the sorts of working people who go out, work hard, um, and maybe save a bit of money, mm. but don't have the wherewithal mm. okay. to write a cheque to get out of difficulties okay. if they and their family get that, into difficulties. That, that definition. Now, that, that, that's, that, that's who I have in my mind. Okay. People who've got that anxiety, if you like, in the bottom of their stomach, that says, we're doing all right, but mm. should something happen to me and my family, I haven't actually the, got the wherewithal to get out of that problem. The, so that's who I have mostly the, in mind. The, the definition is very broad. Who isn't a working person? Who is a person for, for whom you think taxes should go up? Well, it, it is broad, I, I accept that. But when really I, when, broad? No, 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 but when I tell you who's in my mind's eye, which is, and I think everybody watching this will know whether they're in this category, because you, you carry in that situation a uh, sort of knot in the okay. bottom of the stomach, which is if push comes to shove and something happens to me and my family, I the, can't just get a checkbook out, even though I've maybe got a bit okay, of saving. They're the people you, that I, that in a way, I came into politics to try and make sure they had you, secure jobs yes. um, and didn't have the anxiety of public services not working and felt genuinely better off with better opportunities. Okay. That's what I have in my mind's eye. Okay, 
OK, so for someone who works but gets their income from assets as well, such as shares of property, are they a working person? Well, they wouldn't come within my definition. So their taxes could go yeah, up? Yeah, I mean, you can probably give me any number of um, examples. Um, and don't, no, you're, you're, you're tagging a second question to the first, which is you're asking me for a definition of who's a working person and then you're making assumptions about point, what the tax might be. The point to. is, I could, we're the, running out of time, but I could but go the, through fuel you, duty you could, if you're or, driving or, a van. You, you could, you're a working or, person and you might put fuel duty you up. Could, you could go through that tax. exercise or... or, or or you could, um, you know, ensure that people hear from me mm. who I have in my mind's eye. People watching this will know um, whether they're in that group or not. Those people who work hard, um, mm. are anxious about whether they can the make ends meet and know that should something happen to them and their family, they can't write a chequebook to get out of the problem. I am really concerned about them and the decisions I make are because politics for me is about who do you have in your mind's eye when you make your decisions. I'm not ideological. The I have those people in my mind's eye. The reason it matters, Prime Minister, and the reason I'm pressing you on whether it's people with shares, if it's fuel duty that might go up and hit people that drive vans or cars to work or freezing council tax, bans and council tax going up potentially, the reason it matters, the reason I'm pressing you, is because you you say trust in politics is broken and you promised four months ago for working people tax is not going up and there will be loads of working people out there that are going to be hit by tax rises and might think that you do one thing or say one thing and do another wow i mean it's just so broad isn't it you know nobody's against helping you know uh, working people out uh, and they, they should be helped in, in, in many regards but you can help people through not taxing them you know, you can help them through not make, making them pay all these hidden taxes or devaluing their money and making what they work for go. You don't, it's nonsensical. And people say that I'm really getting on labor here. Um, I think both sides are just as bad. Um, you, you, it's, it's which one's the lesser of two evils. And remember, it was Margaret Thatcher that introduced that 40% super wealth tax that most, a lot of working class people find themselves on. You know, um, insanity. And, and we'll see what comes out. We'll be documenting our journey in regards to what takes place if they do decide to really punish us um, as business owners, as, uh, as people who perhaps are in a, a higher tax bracket, people that own assets. And that's why this is important because we're all expecting to make quite a bit of money out of the cryptocurrency space, I'm sure. But are we going to be able to hang on to it? That's the question. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, on the topic of crypto, still the same story, guys. Endure that dull, certainly in the altcoin market, um, volatile, um, you know, price action, and ultimately you will be rewarded. Bitcoin, in our opinion, is very much on that broader trajectory. Uh, I, I did ask my patrons this morning, I said, what do we think about, you know, Bitcoin mining becoming nationalized as a matter of security? Because um, Bitcoin... Uh, essentially is in many people's portfolios and has become a kind of global asset that US might want to... Certainly, Trump's been reiterating a lot of that sort of rhetoric. So, and, and there's opportunities all over the place. I'm kind of finding myself quite scattered. I think the biggest opportunity is in crypto out of all the assets. But six really interesting thing in silver and silver miners right now. And what's the environment where silver goes up? What does that mean for crypto? Um, and there's lots of sort of really interesting topics you want to cover with you guys. I do apologize for... Uh, playing that video to start off because many of you are going to be feeling very disgruntled on the back end of it. However, it's important. I want you guys to be as absolutely informed as possible, certainly in the UK or in Europe or in Italy or in Denmark or in the US, which I think, of, you know, that, that constitution and, 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 and Congress is actually in many ways doing a good job for their citizens. Um, last thing I want to sort of love and leave you on. So we're very sort of steadfast on the direction that Bitcoin and crypto is going in more broadly. Uh, certainly when you know even when you look at the total market cap you know this is going to do spectacularly those altcoins all have falling wedges or at sort of support last thing i want to sort of highlight i'm off to a bitcoin conference at the start of next month i'm sitting here in 2024 this is charles henry Moncu, cio for swiss bank he's explaining bitcoin to clients and why it m may be the next global reserve currency btc is now at tipping point to mainstream and it very much is We've got a lot of questions to ask and answer in regards to the true intent behind Bitcoin. Some people say, does it matter? I believe it does, um, because if, if somebody's intent behind introducing something to the world, like the Federal Reserve, for example, um, is in the name of protecting people, and then it turns out to, to perhaps not be, um, and there's far sinister um, plot with it, then of course it's very, very relevant. Um, so that's it from me. And yes, we are going to a Bitcoin conference. We're not a Bitcoin maxi, but I, I think Bitcoin's very special. I'm very interested in it. Um, and certainly looking forward to sort of expanding my knowledge on that. We'll be reporting it all for you. Maybe some blog-like videos. That's it from me, ladies and gents. I'm going to love and leave you. Have a fantastic Friday, despite whatever this ding-dong was saying yesterday.
uh, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next.